Bereshit, chapter 35. And Elohim said unto Yahor Kov, Arise, go up to Behetel, and dwell there. And make there an altar unto El, who appeared unto you when you did flee from the face of Esauf your brother. Then Yahor Kov said unto his household, and to all that were with him, Put away the strange gods that are among you, and purify yourselves and change your garments. And let us arise, and go up to Behet El, and I will make there an altar unto El, who answered me in the day of my distress, and was with me in the way which I went. And they gave unto Yahor Kov all the foreign gods which were in their hand, and the rings which were in their ears. And Yahor Kov hid them under the terebinth which was by Shechem. And they journeyed, and a terror of Elohim was upon the cities that were round about them. And they did not pursue after the sons of Yahor Kov. So Yahor Kov came to Luz, which is in the land of Kenaron, the same as Behetel, he and all the people that were with him. And he built there an altar, and called the place El Behetel, because there, Elohim was revealed unto him when he fled from the face of his brother. And Devoror, Revka's nurse, died. And she was buried below Behetel under the oak, and the name of it was called Arlon Barkut. And Elohim appeared unto Yahor Kov again, when he came from Poddon Aram, and blessed him. And Elohim said unto him, Your name is Yahor Kov. Your name shall not be called any more Yahor Kov, but Yisrael shall be your name, and he called his name Yisrael. And Elohim said unto him, I am El Shaddai, be fruitful and multiply. A nation and a company of nations shall be of you, and kings shall come out of your loins. And the land which I gave unto Abraham and Yitzhak, to you I will give it, and to your seed after you, will I give the land. And Elohim went up from him in the place where he spoke with him. And Yahor Kov set up a pillar in the place where he spoke with him, a pillar of stone. And he poured out a drink offering thereon, and poured oil thereon. And Yahor Kov called the name of the place where Elohim spoke with him, Behetel. And they journeyed from Behetel, and there was still some way to come to Ephroth, and Rahel travailed, and she had hard labor. And it came to pass when she was in hard labor, that the midwife said unto her, Fear not, for this also is a son for you. And it came to pass as her soul was in departing, for she died, that she called his name Benoni, but his father called him Benjamin. And Rahel died, and was buried in the way to Ephroth, the same is Beit Lechem. And Yahor Kov set up a pillar upon her grave, the same is the pillar of Rahel's grave unto this day. And Yisrael journeyed, and spread his tent beyond Migdal Eder. And it came to pass, while Yisrael dwelt in that land, that Reuben went and lay with Bilhar, his father's concubine, and Yisrael heard of it. Now the sons of Yahor Kov were twelve. The sons of Laor, Reuven, Yahor Kov's firstborn, and Shimon, and Levi, and Yehuda, and Yasakar, and Zivulun. The sons of Rahel, Yosef, and Benjamin. And the sons of Bilhar, Rahel's handmaid, Don and Naphtali. And the sons of Zilpa, Laor's handmaid, Gad and Asher. These are the sons of Yahor Kov, that were born to him in Poddon Aram. And Yahor Kov came unto Yitzhak his father to Mamrev, to Kiryat Arba, the same as Hebron, where Avraham and Yitzhak sojourned. And the days of Yitzhak were a hundred and fourscore years. And Yitzhak expired and died, and was gathered unto his people, old and full of days, and Esauf and Yahor Kov his sons buried him.